Alice's boutique was basically a happy accident. Um, I initially studied fashion styling at London College of Fashion, that's what I specialised in. And um, as I got more and more experience in it, I, I just realised it wasn't really what I wanted to do. So um, I left that area and started making my own clothes. And um, as I was going out, more and more people were asking me where my dresses were from and, you know, all these sorts of things. And then um, I started making dresses for other people and it got bigger and bigger. And then before I knew it, Alice's Boutique was born. Alice's Boutique is pretty much a reflection of what I love to wear. And um, bodycon is what I love and it works. It works really well with what I'm doing. It's very simple, very elegant, very sexy. And I've just stuck to it because it works, to be honest. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, as my taste grows and changes, no doubt Alice's Boutique will change. And I, I would never just stick to one thing. I, I will be experimenting with everything. Uh, the typical Alice's Boutique girl is a fun girl who likes to look good. She wants to look different to everyone else. She knows what she wants and she knows that she can choose exactly how she wants it. And um, so yeah, fun, sexy, sophisticated, I'd say. Um, it's funny actually, but I really love very classic, simple styles. So for me, if ever, um, if ever I don't know what to wear, I'll always go for the very simple high round neck. It, it just works for my body shape. Um, Victoria Beckham is definitely a style icon to me. She's um, very sophisticated. She knows how to complement the body form. And um, yeah, she's a huge inspiration. Um, well, I try to be um, sexy, sophisticated. It's very important as a woman to feel sexy about yourself. Um, I'd say I, I try. I tend to dress myself to my body shape rather than what is going on through the trends. I don't really follow trends. I follow what works for me and my body. I always tend to tell them the same thing, and that's. It's really important to know your body, what looks good on you and what doesn't, and that that's just the most important thing. One thing that might look, look good on one person isn't necessarily going to look good on another, so know your good parts, know your bad parts, emphasise the good ones, hide the bad ones. At the moment I'm loving the skirt and crop top, that's my favourite, it's very versatile. Um, it's just a great outfit, you can make it look funky, you can make it look classic, it's really fun and really sexy. Where do I shop? Well, in the evenings I only wear Alice's Beauty, obviously, but by day um, I'm a big Topshop fan. Um, my, uh, hmm, where else? Um, I love religion, um, Reese, all sorts, I'm very all over the place, a bit of everything. I know exactly where I see myself in five years time, where I hope to be is still doing the bespoke service, um, I think that's really important because that's what our boutique is about, you know, um, delivering exactly what the customer wants, but I want to expand, um, that doesn't mean mass producing because that's not, that's not our boutique, I don't want to be a mass production, but I want to have lots of very good quality seamstresses working for Alice's Boutique and um, just spread it around the world and 
really get it out there. Okay, if you were a customer coming to my studio, I would talk you through a few things first before you make your decision. The most important thing first is the fabric. Um, I have three main different types of fabric. You've got the slinky jersey, the cotton jersey, and the light bra. The slinky jersey is my personal favourite. It's very sexy, it clings to all the right places. It's the stretchiest of all the fabrics. This is an example made in the skirt. It only comes in a select few colours, and once it's gone, it's gone, which is obviously good because you know that it's going to be limited and not lots of people are going to be wearing it. But obviously it's bad because once it's gone, that's it. Um, the next fabric is the cotton jersey. That has a matte finish, which some people prefer to the sheen. Uh, that's great for holding you in and hiding those lumps and bumps. That only comes in a select few fabric colours as well. And then you have a light cross, which um, is a bit of a marmite. You either love it or you hate it. It's great for sucking you in again. Uh, it's got a sheen finish to it. Um, and this comes in a set uh, set few colours. Well, this, there's, there's the most amount of colours in this fabric. And I have them all year round. They never set up, so that's the good thing. The next thing to think about is the style. Um, I do loads of different styles, but if you saw something like this, this is the high round neck, for example, made in a blue slinky jersey. This is my personal favourite. Um, you might think, I really like that, but I want a lower round neck, or I want the back lower, or I want the length higher or lower. These are all different things that you can have made specifically to you. So that's where it's really good. Um, and then the next thing I'll do is I'll measure you, or if you're not able to come to the studio, obviously you'll measure yourself. And then um, obviously you pick your colour, and that's it. Alice's Boutique's been going for three years now, and I'll let you into a secret. I started off making boom tubes and skirts. It's very, very simple, um, mainly because this was all I could do. And um, through the three years, it's evolved from a food tube to um, something like the double cutout or the sweetheart cutout, or you've got the completely backless. So, as you can see, in three years, I've gone from this to something like this. So, um, and that is all self-taught.